Hello, I'm John Snodgrass. Uh, I'm one of the product line managers here at Leupold and Stevens. I worked on the Mark V project. Um, you know, we've been talking about the our new PR reticle family. So we have uh, a couple reticles that we designed in conjunction with some of our top shooters to kind of fill some gaps in the market as far as uh, a reticle that gave competition shooters all the information they need for holdovers and holdoffs, um, but wasn't too cluttered. So they could see trace, they could see impacts easily. We have reticle engraving capability here, so we can draw it on a napkin, we can draw that up on a CAD file, engrave it on a, on a glass blank reticle, pop it into a scope and see what it looks like. We came up with a design working with our shooters like John Pinch and Dan Bertaccini and, and Doug Koenig and a few others. I think we came up with a reticle that's absolutely perfect. The perfect amount of information. It's clean, it's clear, and it has all the data points that you need to make precise holds, whether it's a holdover stage or the wind is ripping. There's, there's, it's, it's, it's perfect. You know, we had some big wind out here today, so you know, I was holding up to 10 mils of wind at uh, 1,100 yards. So actually having those, those broken subtension lines where I could actually put that you know, that metal of that target right on there and, and, and almost kind of like the aim small, miss small. It was pretty easy to, to find that hold, but also maintain that hold for following shots. Um, so one of the unique things that we did, and we actually started at, uh, with what we call our CCH reticle that we, we built with uh, kind of the military in mind, um, is we, we use a 0.25 mil increment or on our MOA version, uh, a two MOA increment. And what that does compared to a lot of the reticles that are on the market um, that use two tenth mil increments for, for their measuring and for their holdoffs, um, we reduce a fifth of the lines out of your field of view. So the way we have the reticle designed with uh, a little bit of an open space at that 0.25 makes it feel very clean and very easy to see what you're shooting at. Um, and that 0.25 still gives you all the accuracy you need to make those holds. For me, reticle is super personal and it's, it's the direct connection and direct link from shooter to target. So the reticle is, is just as important as, as how durable and, and how well and how clear the scope is. I think a lot of shooters are really gonna, that didn't have loophole on their radar are going to now and then also want to start using this scope because it, it basically does everything they want it to do and, and nothing they don't.